What are the top 50 worst best looking impossible levels in Geometry Dash? First up we have Sonic Wave on Funnery, which is literally Sonic Wave but looks like it was buffed by some kid with 400 stars. There's nothing else I really have to mention, this is the most unoriginal level you can get besides literally stealing the level. Speaking of dumb joke levels, the fact that Scaffs 2 was placed on the list while having a literal rule that levels must be finished and of a decent quality is mind boggling. Yet another level that sacrifices quality for a dumb joke. Slaughterhouse 2 is the original version of Slaughterhouse, and Agent up straight up grabbed the level and bashed the quality on the head multiple times. Not that the level was ever good, but wow. Joke submission is at number 46th on the list, and looks very similar to his other work, Arcturus. No comment on this one really, there are many more joke and bustle levels ahead in the beginning of the list. Let's keep going. Scaffs 2 is another typical bland wave challenge level. It's not a horrible level, but there's nothing good about the level. The decoration is very monochrome and static, and the ending is terribly rushed. The slow moving objects do remind me of early 2.0 levels though. Ultimate Silent Mix isn't the best, in the nicest way possible. The level's quality keeps flipping drastically and the merging isn't even that good, which is the number one job of a level mix. The decoration isn't that original as well since it's a level mix. The thing that's funny though is how there are quite a few level mixes in the map packs, and the quality is as comparable as a map pack level. Some things never change. The Hell Heaven structuring is pretty cool, but the decoration is just not that good. I think the level would definitely be better off as a simple 1.0 layout, not the garbage fest that most core levels are. There's also a pretty funny vibe to the level, especially the ending, which I would show, but it has an image of my wife, so I'm currently gonna file a copyright strike on the level. The structuring is nice because it isn't impossible for time speed, but the 1.0 decoration feels very lacking and isn't used to its fullest potential. The concept of every single jump being a frame perfect is a weird concept, I have to say, but at least it's somewhat original. I don't have much else to say though, the decoration is pretty bare bones. Ah no second, there's not much to say about this level. The atmosphere is there but there is too much copy and paste throughout the whole level, and it feels extremely repetitive. Instead of serving prison sentences to criminals, they should just let them play this level for eternity and absolutely suffer. The decoration is fine, but the fact that it was copied and pasted hundreds of times completely ruins it. The idea of coma is probably one of the worst I've seen so far. Make a 5 minute maze level with impossible timings obviously seems like a bad idea, right? Well apparently no, since this is 9th on the list. Thanks all is just an average mediocre 9 circles level with a slightly weird color scheme. There are going to be a lot of 9 circles levels on the lower part of this list. A lot. Nightmarish is another one of those forgettable 9 circle souls. Seriously, what's up with the 9 circles trend in impossible levels? CXLM um, is sadly yet another one of those wave spam and straight fight levels. The pulses are pretty nice here, but it feels like there's a lot of wasted potential as the designs feel pretty bland, along with the gameplay. Mediocre level. If there's one word to describe Silent Burzum Club, it's messy. Also, the first part completely rips off Silent Cups up very obviously, so that knocks some points away from me. The troll face at the end is kinda hot though, not gonna lie. I honestly don't even know if I can classify this as a remake as some parts feel literally the exact same. The update, which starts halfway through the level, consists of spamming a bunch of messy effects at the drop to clutter up the screen. I thought that people learnt from down bass that spamming fire on the screen in 9 circles level was a bad idea, but I guess not. Not a fan. The Hell Conjurer has some really, really lazy decoration. The ending part is nice, but the level overall feels very loosely put together. At least it has some decent atmosphere, but yeah, it's nothing special. If you thought an impossible level couldn't be any more bland, here is this level. Wave spam, stray fly, and monochrome color scheme makes this level feel super forgettable. Honestly, the colors in Price Circle aren't that bad for a 9 circles level. Is that wrong, 3D? This is an absolute disgrace. I'm ranking this a negative 100 out of 10. Horrible. Disgusting. High level is quite literally one of the most unoriginal levels out there, but hey, at least it's decent quality. Speaking of 9 circles levels, my level is basically the same thing as high level, but with a different color scheme, so I'm gonna rank them in the same spot. The blue glow in the wave part is pretty cool though. Yet again another 9 circles level on this list, Hyperphobia. The designs here are decent, but the colors do not work at all and feel very mushy. Some of the decoration feels messy and cluttered as well. Silent Skrillex is a very outdated looking 9 circles level with unusual deco choices. Well, what do I say, Chaotic Circles 11 is another 9 circles level. 
Told you that there'd be a lot of nine circle souls on this list. It's pretty obvious to tell here that aging didn't treat this soul very well. It reminds me a lot of an early 2.0 and doesn't really have anything special to it. Seriously, the only chaotic thing about the soul is how poorly it aged. Impossible level sub banned me is a funny level, but the whole thing is just copy and pasted through its entirety. Not much else to it. I'm starting to find a lot of these impossible levels are falling under this category of being a complete joke. I've never really been a fan of dark black and white monochrome levels and Minus Club is not an exception. I don't have much else to say, this is just forgettable. The designs in Singularity actually have a lot of potential. Sadly the level feels very dead and lacks a lot of common stuff such as pulses and movements. Pretty forgettable. The atmosphere in Wistfully is pretty nice here, but I've seen so many black and white levels on this list that the effect has kind of worn off me here. Despite this, I do like the shortwave at 65% and wish it was longer. The atmosphere in Wistfully is pretty nice here, but I've seen so many black and white levels on this list that the effect has kind of worn off me here. Despite this, I do like the shortwave at 65% and wish it was longer. Yes. There are two of the exact same level on the list, which completely threw me off and made me write this last minute. <sighs> NU Silent Skrillex. The designs are quite mediocre, but at least some of the nine circles effects are kind of trippy. The black glow does feel overbearing though. Ah yes, the iconic Silent Circles by Skrillex, one of the few levels that blew up the whole silent trend to oblivion, along with Silent Club Step and Death Corridor. Despite its age, it's fine for what it is, it's nothing special, but it's definitely better than most of the levels on this list, which is really saying something. However, there are random sections like this ball maze that make no sense at all and don't really fit. Most of Mute Evasion is pretty mediocre, like seriously, what can I judge here if I don't see anything? I also think the red pulses in the first part don't really fit at all since there aren't any red objects. I do think the last part executes the red pulses way better though. Speaking of the last part, the last part's really good and saves the level from ranking lower. Sorta. I do wish the level was more like that. Sadly it isn't. Sad Santa has a pretty nice winter theme, however the level feels pretty messy and also repetitive. Despite that, the sync is good. And did I forget to mention the end screen? This is the best end screen I've ever seen since Sonic Wave Infinity. Truly a heartwarming, emotional, powerful, deep end screen that definitely took months to make. I'm in absolute awe of the amount of emotional care that was presented within this end screen. Masterpiece. The Crossroads 3 has some neat atmosphere, but the level is really mediocre in all other aspects and feels pretty average for an impossible level. I really like these glowing spikes though. Nothing bad, but nothing too good either. Another level that attempts at atmosphere is Rampant Circles. Despite Rampant Circles being a standard classic Night Circles level, the attempted atmosphere and glow brings it up a little. Although I would admit that the color pulses do feel a little awkward at times. And if atmosphere clothes were enough, the squall. This has some really cool atmosphere, but that's really it. The level does not feature any visible gameplay or structuring in the slightest, which I think is a horrible idea. It makes it feel like an auto-level movie, despite it being a literal impossible level. Minus 3 is a huge improvement from the previously mentioned Minus Club. You can actually see the level this time, which is pretty crazy and revolutionary, and definitely something that will go down into history books. Besides that though, I do feel like the execution could be better at times, as sometimes stuff like some easings feel very awkward. However, I'm a big fan of the wave at 47% in the first part, as those are the most well made. Not bad. Hell's Birthday. The designs are pretty good, but unfortunately the colors feel really mushy at times. This is just fine though. Good Night has some pretty solid decoration, and the vibes are definitely there. However, the level is pretty repetitive and could use some movements. I really like the last part though, because of its black transitions, which is something I like to see in levels and a thing I personally use myself, hence why my levels are the best levels ever to exist. The Descended explores some really cool concepts and has some nice art, but I feel like the designs fall a bit flat. Joke Submission is a really cool remake of Joke Submission, and I gotta say, it actually improved onto the atmosphere of the last level. I also love the little ghost at 74%- oh wait. The Genshin Impact reference pushes the level back to number 50 on the list. Last Theory, first two parts are really solid and fluid, and I like the atmospheric vibe to the ship part. I also like how MaxFS uses the dripping animations, and this is definitely not an exception. Unfortunately, the last part does feel a little too rushed and repetitive for its own good. Heat Death is another level with some really cool atmosphere, 
Although the death text being spammed and clustered over the screen does feel quite pointless. Do I really need a damn billboard telling me what the theme of the level is? A better way of scaring me would have been to show me dynamic on Trek's gameplay. Speaking of atmospheric levels, Ballistic Wistfully is definitely one of the most interesting ones on this list, and the atmosphere and effects are incredible here. Although the song choice is quite strange, it does immerse me into the level. Pretty cool. Methothesis, I've always kind of liked this level and because it makes for great YouTube thumbnails, however it does have a lot of repetitiveness. The atmosphere and designs are definitely there, which is what most of the levels on this list lack. Although the gameplay structuring doesn't look that great, it's fine. Suffer is another one of those really cool sketch-like levels, although the gameplay makes as much sense as playing Killbot for fun. Like seriously, what do I even do here? However, the effects are really nice for a top 1, compared to the other levels on this list. Despite not liking Arcturus as a demonless level, I do like it as an impossible level. The atmosphere is solid and the designs are pretty good compared to what I've seen so far. Although, I do wish the whole screen wasn't covered in black glow so much, but I guess it kind of works. Funny how one of the most controversial top 1s landed so far onto this list, which really says something. Rain is another one of those super cool levels with a sketch-like design. I especially love how the theme this time doesn't look like it was made by an edgy 14 year old. Although I'm not a big fan of the gameplay, for most of it is visible. The fact that an impossible level called Piss landed second on this list is beyond me. The decoration is pretty cool and resembles Super Probably level a lot. The blue nine circles part did feel out of place though. The rest is great. And for the number one spot, we have The Ascended. The Ascended is, without a doubt, definitely the best level on this list. The glow you should cheer is really well done and carefully crafted. I don't really have anything negative to say about this level, as it does everything really well. Especially this hot beast, which I would copyright strike the level for showing my wife, but the level is too good for that. A well deserved number one spot on this list. Anyways, Thanks for watching, please consider subscribing if you enjoy these kinds of videos, as it really helps me out. Have a good day everyone, see ya!